Detecting cybersecurity incidents effectively and accurately in Sumo Logic's Cloud Sim Enterprise requires proper data collection through the Sumo Logic service. In this video, we'll show you some best practices for configuring and troubleshooting dataset collection into Cloud Sim using Sumo Logic parsers. For proper event monitoring, you will need to ensure that your logs are being parsed and ingested into Cloud Sim correctly. The best way to check ingestion is to test your system's logs against the Sumo Logic parser. To do this, log into the Sumo Logic interface and locate one of your collectors. Find an appropriate source entry, then click on the icon marked Open in Log Search. From the Log Search window, copy the query info containing your collector and source names. Next, go to Manage Data, Logs, Parsers. Open the System folder and look for the relevant parser for your collector source, Linux in this example. The Linux OS syslog page allows you to tweak the system configuration for the parser, as well as add any additional local configuration overrides. In this example, we'll scroll down to the Sample Logs section and click Sumo Logic Search. Paste in your collector and source info from the previous screen. Adjust the time range if needed to make sure you have an appropriate amount of data. However, we recommend keeping your message count small to allow the system to process more efficiently. Click Search to search for sample log messages from the given collector source. Once you have sample log messages to examine, click OK. Next, click Parse Logs to parse the sample logs from your query. Note that alternately, if you already have a query window with sample logs available, you can use the Paste Messages link to paste those logs directly into the widget without doing another search. After parsing, the Parsed Events window will open showing the results. The top row shows various categories of parsed messages as appropriate, parsed, unparsed, and dropped. Click on the Parsed Messages row to see the list of logs parsed by data element. For Cloud Sim data collection, the key values to note are those marked with the underscore sim header, sim mapper event ID, sim mapper product, and sim mapper vendor. If these elements are present, then you have a data connection between your log data and the attributes for event data that Cloud Sim is looking for. Next, let's check the data mapping on the Cloud Sim side. Go to the Cloud Sim interface using the link in the bottom left, then click on the cog icon, Log Mappings. Narrow down the list of log mappings through a keyword filter, Linux in this example. Select a sample mapping with the desired vendor and product mapping, in this case, Linux and Linux OS syslog. On the log mapping screen, the left side indicates the details of an incoming log record that has to match in order for a cloud sim record to be created. Specifically, the vendor and product entries on the left side need to match the sim mapper product and sim mapper vendor values from the Sumo Logic log parser. If these values line up correctly, then cloud sim will be able to receive the data fields, shown by clicking on the fields option on the left. The fields mapping shows how the incoming log entries on the left will be converted to Cloud Sim record values on the right. Another useful technique to save time in configuring multiple collectors and sources is to use field extraction rules in place of custom fields. Custom fields can be useful in defining additional data elements for parsing and analysis. For instance, this example data source has custom fields for Sim Forward and Parser. While this is useful for small numbers of data sources, for larger organizations with potentially hundreds of individual sources, configuring each source with custom fields individually will take time. To use field extraction rules instead, go to Manage Data, Logs, Field Extraction Rules, and then either create or search for an appropriate extraction rule. Edit the rule to parse your desired fields. In this example, we will add the following lines, true as sim forward, and the parser path as parser. You can get the parser path directly from the previous parser screen by clicking the copy icon on top to copy the path to the clipboard. Save the extraction rule, and now for all of your sources they no longer need to set custom fields individually, but will benefit from the general field extraction rule that covers your entire system. If changes need to be made, you can make them in one place in the field extraction rule without having to update all of your sources individually. We hope this video has helped you understand some best practices to configure, check, and troubleshoot data collection into Cloud Sim. Thanks for watching.